Hey guys, welcome to a FIFA 17 squad builder, and today we're going to be doing a 4 3 1 2 formation. I'm actually going to be doing live commentaries on uh, squad builder as well. Make sure you do leave some comments down below on whether you think this is a good squad builder or not. It's not the most creative in the world. It is technically a three leak hybrid, but there's only like uh, three dead links. So, kind of well built, but at the same time, quite a few of the same nation. But first up in goal, we're going to go for Rully from Real Sociedad. Picked him up for less than a thousand coins. I'm not too sure if he is that price now still. Um, but a really good player, 85 diving, 86 reflexes and 80 positioning and uh, just a really good goalkeeper in this uh, league of EBA. Probably better than Diego Alves in my honest opinion. Going into the defence then, we're going to go for Masaccio first. I could just press the right and left triggers, I've just realised, well I'll do that. Uh, Masaccio, 63 pace, he has a little bit of a pace downgrade but still 84 defending and 76 physical. 66 passing as well, pa passing is a good factor on uh, FIFA 17 and uh, you definitely do need it in your centre backs. Just to make sure you don't lose the ball. Also next to him, in the right back position, we'd have Zappa Costa. Right wing back in a new league, of course, in the Serie A. Um, really good stats, to be fair. Like, all of them above 67. Obviously, good shooting for a right back, that is. Uh, but only two-star skills, which isn't the best. Going on to the left-hand side, we'd have Funes Mori. Again, above 60 passing, 72 pace and uh, 76 defending and 79 physical. Really like Funes Mori on uh, FIFA. He seems to be really overpowered for how low rated this card is. Into the left back position, um, we do have, there we go, Aaron Cresswell from West Ham. 78 pace, 75 dribbling and uh, not the best of shooting, but he has got very good free kicks on him. And uh, I've used him quite a few times in my BPL squad builders. Into the midfield, then we do have Cataldi from uh, uh, Lazio, that is. You can go for Parolo, who is a lot better, and he's only like 3,000 coins. To be fairly honest, I'm not too sure why I didn't spend that extra two grand uh, for a better player, but uh, nevertheless, Cataldi, all of his stats essentially above 70, and uh, mainly for chemistry, uh, not chemistry, uh, career mode purposes, I wanted to try out this player just because he is so young and uh, potentially I could sign him on career mode. Into the middle of the uh, centre midfielders, we do have Roberto Soriano. This guy, I've only played four games with him, but he's incredible. In every single game, he ba he makes everything, he defends, he does everything. He's literally the most all-rounded player I've used um, this year. He's, he's, he's absolutely fantastic, like Vidal, but cheap. Um, yeah, really good stats, all of them. Essentially above 70, apart from defending, but with him being six foot uh, tall, he does seem to win the ball quite nicely, and with 80 dribbling, four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, really good choice in that midfield. Next up we do have Lanzini, a bit more of an attacking player, 4 star skills and 3 star weak foot, 82 pace, 85 dribbling, 76 pace and uh, so, uh, 76 passing sorry, and uh, 70 shooting, pretty good rounded card. Uh, you can go for, what's his face, I can't remember his name, you can't go for Payet because he's a left mid isn't he, I, I was going to say Payet, but then I remembered he's a left mid this year. Into the next position there we do have Franco Vazquez from uh, Sevilla, he does have the high defensive work rate which is a bit of a shame. But he does kind of include himself in the midfield a bit more and help us defend, so that's kind of nice. Not the best of pace, but very good shooting, passing and uh, dribbling at 84. Would be nice if he had 4-star skills as well, but still in-game, really, really good dribbler. And he's 6 foot one, so in that attacking midfielder position, he's a bit he's a bit bulky, so you can just hit it up to him and uh, he can win the ball quite nicely. Into the striker positions then, we do have Ciro Mobile. I've used this guy in my Serie A squad builder, um, squad that I've been using, and I've actually done a squad builder on it, but uh, yeah. 80 pace, 81 shot, 72 physical and 75 dribbling, 5 goals, 3 assists in 7 games and I played pretty much discard value for him, really would suggest him, I've really enjoyed him, scored some absolute bangers from like 35 yards out, chip shot from like the edge of the box, uh, like the, the corner of the box if that makes any sense, the keeper came out and it was a really really nice chip. And the final player is Simeone Zaza, 1 goal in 2 games, uh, I think that, that was in this squad, yeah he's left footed. Really tall, really good, uh, good rounder player to be fairly honest, all the stats above 77 that do count, not too bothered about passing, um, but uh, yeah, good p uh, pace and uh, shooting. So we are going to go into a game now with this team, and uh, I'll just show you some of the highlights, because what I've done in the past is actually just um, showed you like some goals, and that doesn't really give you a gist of who's good in the team, who does what, what the defenders are like, what the goalkeeper's like, so I think this way will be a little bit more informative for you guys when you are building a squad builder most of the people will just end the video now because they'll see oh there's the squad let's go build it they won't actually see what the negatives and positives are so we're going into a game in division five or six i think it's six so it's really annoying when people search for a game and then go you know what i'm not going to play you so a little bit frustrating but nevertheless I'm, i could have probably changed the team name from squad builder challenge because obviously when people see that they think i'm going to leave the game 
Um, but anyway, we're going to go into the game. Into the game we go then against a 4-4-2 team with 84 chemistry. He's got Perlo in there. This guy's going to leave. I, I put my money on it. He's going to leave the game because he's got that um, squad builder challenge where you need it in a 4-4-2. Shatov and Perlo and Andrew Ruiz, both high-rated players. And uh, there's no chemistry into them. So I think this guy is going to give us a free win, which is kind of nice. But I'm not too sure why he's not doing the team of the week glitch where you can load the team of the week challenge. And then, um, yeah, you just back out. It's as simple as that. Pizzy down the right here. He's got a ball into the back post with the header. Like, heading is quite good on this game, I must say. And Adjuries is one of the best headers of the ball. So uh, clearly he's gone for that. Uh, winger to strike a combination. That is literally his first shot in the first, like, what, 10, 15 minutes? It's really annoying when that happens. When I've been having, like, a few shots here and there, uh, dominating the game pretty much, he goes on his first attack and scores the goal. That's just FIFA, really. Here we go. Cataldi's won it nicely in the midfield here. Inside to Immobile with the shot. Has he got the goal? Yes, he has. Immobile is so clinical, it's incredible. You can just put him in front of goal, and he will put it into the back of the net majority of the time. And it, he is a really, really good cheap striker for uh, Serie A teams. Here we go, Cataldi with the ball. I'm going to try and cut back here and look for one on the edge. We found Zappacosta into Soriano. I don't, like, that's one thing about FIFA that I'm not liking this year. The advantage is minute. Like, it's never ever played. I'm not too sure if we've got any free kick takers in the team. I think Lanzini's about the best one we got. I like to do it like at an angle because I feel like you can get a little bit more curl on it that way. Here we go through for Lanzini. He's made a nice run and it has gone into the back of the net. A nice bit of link up play there with uh, the big striker Immobile and Lanzini, the little centre attacking mid magician. Really good uh, to get into the lead just before half time. It was a good time to score. Uh, not the best to finish in, but uh, still a decent goal. And um, yeah, we've doubled the scoreline. Through for Perlo here. We don't want to concede and we have. Here we go. Nice bit of pass in play. Can we open up the gap here? There we go, through for Immobile, across goal. There we go, 3-2, back in the game. It's just, like, attacking-wise, I'm I'm really, like, to, like I can do it all the time. Defending, it takes me a couple of games just to get into it. And as it is the first game of the day, uh, those couple of goals, I probably would have prevented them later on in the day when I've played a few games, learnt the mechanics a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, Immobile is so clinical. Definitely would suggest him. Um, if you don't build him in this squad builder, then just stick him in any Serie A team. He does a decent job. Oh, that's a bad pass. I've intercepted. No, we, we cocked that. Get across Cresswell. That's a great tackle from the young Englishman. And we've just about cleared that there. Here we go. Onto the edge of the Cresswell. Cut inside with the fake shot. With the shot. And it has been saved by the keeper. Maybe if we did uh, put it to someone like Zaza or Immobile there, it would probably have been 4-2 and we would have won the game. I think it's about to blow for full time. It's not been the best of games to demonstrate some of the benefits of this team. But as you can see, we've won the game. Pretty much, um, might get an attack here in the last few minutes with Mitroglou and Adjuries, but it's, it's um, both of his strikers have like 60 pace, so it's kind of difficult to show the benefits of uh, Masaccio and Funes Mori. Yeah, we won the game 3-2 um, from the match ratings. I think, uh, yeah, nine nine saves for Rulli, that's not bad at all. Tackles, one, four out of six for uh, Masaccio, only three out of five for Funes Mori, but uh, in terms of goals, Two for Immobile, one for Lanzini and uh, one assist for Cataldi, one for Immobile and uh, Zaza got one as well. It just shows that, um, what's it, Immobile is a really good player, like there's nothing really much else to say. Just going to finish off the squad builder here, so I added up the team quickly and it is about 15k-ish, maybe 10k if you get a, a, a few bids in here or there uh, for a good price. But yeah, I definitely would suggest you guys building this squad builder, I played about three or four games with it and... Um, yeah, Mobile is definitely the man that runs the show. He, he gets the goals. Vazquez sets them up. Zaza, I don't know. I feel like he could be a little bit more um, effective at times, but maybe just getting someone with a little bit more dribbling would be um, more complementing to a Mobile. Maybe with a bit more pace as well. Pace and dribbling. Someone like that. Maybe just sticking Lanzini at striker and then get in like Cuyate or Noble in midfield instead. But Nevertheless, if you did enjoy Squad Builder, make sure you do smash the like button. Just a little bit of a different video in terms of my way of making Squad Builders in the past. I've just showed goals. Now I'm going to do this. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Make sure you do smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And see you soon. Bye.